Because of the pandemic, everybody had to create a Google Classroom last year and we put a lot of materials inside there and worked really, really, really hard to get all our stuff digitized so that we could teach our classes. Now, do we have to go and create new Google Classrooms and put back all the same information again? No. I'm going to show you how to make a copy of the Google Classroom and it will copy exactly what you did last year, minus the students, minus the comments and minus the assignments. So, let's go. Okay, so here we have all of my Google Classrooms and I'm going to just choose one of them, which is a CSEC IT class, right? So I choose the CSEC IT class and as you can see, all of the things that were posted are there. All of the things in classwork are there, everything that I would have done from the start to the end. There! Now I have all these assignments posted already and all the instructions are posted. And I don't want to go and have to create everything over and upload all of the data again because two problems will happen. One, my Google Drive will get totally full because I've created copies of every single thing. And two, I'll be reinventing the wheel. And the good thing about digitization is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So let's go and make a copy of it. So on the top left hand side, you will see your uh, main menu. When you click on the main menu, you'll see classes. When you go to classes, it will show you a list of all the classes that you have, right? So you may have multiple classes, you may have one class, it doesn't matter. There are three dots on the top right hand side of every classroom, that's the menu. When you click there, you will see copy. Click copy and you'll get a pop-up that says copy of whatever the name of the class is. So it'll have subject and whatnot. Look very carefully, you will see create a new class with copy topics and classwork items, rosters and announcements won't be copied. So basically the children in the class, the emails that were added, they won't be copied. Any announcements that you type, they won't be copied. And all I have to do now is click the word copy. And it's going to say copying. Now this is going to take a little while because what it's going to do is going to create a brand new classroom for you. But it's going to take all of the information that you would have had from the previous class and put, the, put it in. Alright, so it's created there already and it's up there. Copy of CSEC IT Online and it says creating class. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the two of them as soon as it's finished copying. Okay, it is finished. So now this one says copy of CSEC IT Online. So I'm going to show you the first one first, CSEC IT. Right? You will see in classwork I have all of the theory section, Microsoft Word, spreadsheets, databases, and algorithms and programming and past papers, revision, and all those different things. Let's go and see what the copy has in it. So I go to the copy of CSEC IT only, realize that there is nothing in the feed so far, not one thing, none of the announcements that I would have made. But when I go to classwork, you see every single thing that was there before, but they are grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because they are, have been put as drafts. Now if I go and click on any one of the drafts and I click on one of them, you will see that inside of it, the assignment is already attached as a PDF because it was there from before. So the exact assignment that was there, the exact instructions would be there also. The points, the only thing that is not there is a due date because of course the new due date will need to be put in by you. But the, um, the topic, everything, same exact classroom, every single thing. Now, teachers tend to change up the way that they teach over time, but there are some teachers who like to keep things in a particular order. This gives you the ability to keep things in a particular order. And if you don't want to use back an assignment, that's okay. You just don't remove it from draft mode. But to put it back into circulation, all you have to do is click edit assignments and then click assign. And all your assignments, every single thing that you did for the past year, can be used over. And this is the beauty of Google Classroom and this is the beauty of digitization. You have the ability to repeat the process without having to go and make new copies by a copy machine, make new charts and all of those things. Your classroom is here for you. And all you have to do is go now and you can change the name of the classroom by going to the settings and change the classroom name to whatever the new classroom is. Probably put like 2021, 2022 at the end of it. And that's it. Your classroom is ready to go. All you have to do now is go and do the normal thing of go by people, which will be totally empty right now and invite the students to your class for the new year. And this will not affect the students on the previous class because they will see the other classroom there as if it's still theirs, but you just made a digital copy of it and now you can in invite your new students. So that's how you make a copy of your Google Classroom. 
use this because it will save your life especially for teachers who are, who like to structure things very well and you worked really really hard at structuring things because of the pandemic your work is not going to go in vain go and structure it now <laughs>